First, we would start with this statement to ourselves: The law of attraction is in effect. I am not putting it into effect and I'm not working the law of attraction. Actually, the law of attraction is responding to me. So in order to receive beneficial response from the law of attraction, I've got to be offering beneficial vibrations. And how do I know that I'm offering a beneficial to myself, my self-interest vibration? It feels good when I offer it. It's either fun or interesting or fascinating or exciting or loving or appreciative. It feels really good. So when I am feeling good, now I'm entering the energy field of attraction and I'm entering it with deliberately activated marbles that will attract to me things that will please me as they manifest. And it is a sure thing that they will manifest. And it's a sure thing that they will please me as they manifest. They might surprise me while they're delighting me because it might be a bigger, more accurate, more all-inclusive creation than I even knew that I had set into motion. My capacity to allow is what's growing. My capacity to allow myself the blessings and creations that I've asked for. That's the stance that we would take. If we were you, that's what we'd leave this room reminding ourselves. The law of attraction is on all the time. And I enter the field where it is, just like I enter the gravity field where it is. And the law of attraction responds to me in perfection every time. And it reflects back to me. It brings more to me, just like what I've got active. So if I'm running around ornery, I'm getting ornerier. Most people have a kind of mixed bag, so to speak. Yeah. You're happy, you're sad, you're worried, you're not. You're all over the place. You are conditional creators. You're conditional lovers because you wait for the condition and most people offer most of their vibration in response to what they are observing. So you want to be better selective sifters. Like if you turn on the news and you feel like you should because you want to be a responsible citizen. You want to know what's going on. So you turn it on because you want to be informed, whatever. And it feels terrible to you. That means that your inner being isn't telling you to turn it off. It means that your inner being is seeing what you're seeing from a different vantage point. Now let's carry this out. Your inner being is not already deciding for you what you should do. Your inner being is in alignment with what you have already decided that you want. So the purest form of your decisions are what your inner being is holding. And everyone has an inner being. And so it's true for everyone. And the law of attraction is sorting this out. Most people are not offering their vibrations on purpose. They are offering them in response to what they are observing. So these are the things that we would do if we were standing in your physical shoes. We would observe because you can't help it. There's stuff around and you like to observe. You like to see, you like to know, you like to learn, you like to be part of things. So you're going to observe. We would get out ahead of it by deciding as we walk into a segment, I'm going to look for what I want to see today, no matter where I'm going. No matter what I'm doing, no matter who I'm doing it with, it's my dominant intent to look for what feels good when I feast my eyes upon it. Because that means my inner being and I are on the same vibrational wavelength. That means that what my inner being has gathered on my behalf, I have access to. You were non-physical energy before you came into this body. And even as consciousness entered your body, the larger part of who you were remained non-physically focused. You refer that often to soul. We call it source. We call it your inner being, but that part of you exists at the same time. So here you are walking around in your physical realm, having exposure to life and having opinions. That's the most accurate word that Esther can find. So you see something and you have an opinion about it. This is what we really want you to hear. At the same moment that you're having an opinion, your inner being is too. You're feeling what you describe as fear. Your inner being 
is not doing that. Your inner being only knows the positive aspects. So your inner being will never negatively attract on your behalf ever. So your inner being has an opinion that's based on love and a lot of experience and a lot of vetting of a lot of lifetimes and a lot of exposure to a lot of experiences where you've just come to know your own power and you've come into alignment with who you really are. And then there's you in your human form, not learning, not because you need to learn that, but because that's just the way that it is. When you look at something and you shout no at it, this is a universe that's based upon attraction, on inclusion. There's no such thing as no. So when you shout no at something, you're actually shouting yes at something you don't want. You're actually calling to you what you don't want. But guess what? Your inner being is never doing that. So the big stuff is never going to happen like that. Oh, you can mess up your life and you can have a miserable time, but you're not going to destroy the world with things like that. This world is not under threat or at risk. The well-being is dominant. All that's happening that you would call negative or unwanted, all that it is, is a human or a whole lot of humans, because beasts don't do it, hardly. Some of them, when they're domesticated, they begin to act a little more like you, but mostly they're <laughs> pure positive energy. And so when you push against something and your inner being doesn't, you feel that tug of war you feel it in yourself. And so what's gone wrong? If you want to say something's gone wrong, you've used this thing that you have observed, that you've concluded that you don't want. And that's fine because when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. When you know what you don't want, your inner being really knows what you do want. And your inner being will never join you in what you don't want after you've defined what you do want. And so your opinion that makes you feel bad is because your inner being is looking at exactly the same situation from its point of view of love. Now, we want to carry that a little further. Think about this. Everyone you know, oh, everyone who has been in physical form that you've known, you're dearly not so departed. They've re-emerged into non-physical. And in their transition, they have left behind all doubt and fear and worry because in that transition, They've joined their inner beings and they're resistant free and they're pushing against nothing. And they know you. It's not that they remember you because relationships are eternal. So they're focused with you right here and right now, your inner beings and all those dearly not so departed. When you choose to really focus on what you don't want and you decide to beat the drum of that, to join the protest rather than the advocates, to push hard against something rather than identify what it means that you want and then think about that. You pinch yourself off from all of that. Those emotions feel like loneliness. They feel like fear. They feel like absence. They feel like unwanted because you're holding yourself apart from everything that you really are and everything that you really want. Not one other person on the planet has to know this and behave anything like what we are encouraging here for you to live happily ever after. Because you have the capacity within yourself to do such a good job of selectively sifting or such a good job of giving others the benefit of the doubt. Do you know when you give someone the benefit of the doubt, you're the one who receives the first benefit. You're the one that receives the first win because you align with who you are and you have all of this clarity. That's where the creative ideas come from. That's where the solutions come from. That's where the problems are solved. And it happens generationally. After a while, the old honorary ones peter out, they die and they don't keep active, all that stuff that they've worried about. And so in time, the old complaints and we don't want to use the word memory because it's not about memory. It's the old activation is just not active in the generations once enough generations have passed. But you don't have to wait for generations to pass. You heard enough here today that if you could walk out of this room with these things on your mind, I'm going to care about how I feel. And when I don't feel good, I'm going to know that I'm attracting something that I don't want. And I'm going to know that my inner being isn't in on this. So it won't be a really monumental attraction. 
we want to say to you when you hook up with your inner being one who's connected like that is more powerful than millions who are not but most of the world is running around with puny paltry attraction and then just bickering with each other over the spoils of what they are disallowing each other what they're disallowing of themselves and blaming on each other everything that everyone wants is in this vibrational reality and all of it is possible and if as humans should stop bickering over what should be allowed to be created and just mind your own business and create what you want then you wouldn't deprive yourself of creating what you want by being mad about what that one's creating <laughs> and in what humans want to call a perfect world everyone would get what they want but we want to say it's already a perfect world because nobody can mess up your life nobody now we know this is a particularly hard time to hear that because it feels like there's a whole lot of assertion going on a whole lot of people walking into a whole lot of places and doing a whole lot of things to a whole lot of people but it couldn't be happening if there were not a vibrational expectation so many people are being scared by so many people about their well-being they're not walking around feeling free and safe they're walking around feeling scared so no one can say it's not part of their point of attraction we're not saying they got it on purpose and we're not saying that somebody else didn't influence it you are all influencing whatever it is that you are offering that's why you come as teachers you come to align with wanted and show through the clarity of your example how to live what's wanted and when someone wants to know how you got that you can then explain it to them but it's a big world that wants you to choose a side you're either for us or against us they say about so many things and we say anybody who's against anything is depriving themselves of what they're for it's just the way that it works we want you to look into the world and see what's going on and we want you to briefly briefly and we mean briefly Esther we mean briefly we mean briefer than you're doing it Esther have your step one moment and know what you don't want and what you cannot stand and what you cannot stand have your fit and have your moment of hate and despair about it but don't live in it have it and launch all those rockets of desire about children eating every night and children going to bed and feeling safe and about the world being a place that people want to live and launch all those rockets of desire and then as soon as you can give your undivided attention to the vortex version that hasn't manifested yet because everybody's so busy recreating what they don't want they're so busy looking at the horror of what's happening that it just pops up in another place and another place and another place and another place they worry about guns so they just get more guns they worry about more people being crazy and misusing the guns so more people get crazy and use the guns it's all about the law of attraction and you have power that you aren't exercising because you are observers of what is rather than advocates of what you've decided that you now prefer look forward into what's becoming and watch how the universe will deliver for you what you are asking for and don't wait for others don't chastise them when they don't get it don't be mad at them if they misunderstand don't push against anybody you just do your thing and we want you to know it doesn't take more than a room full of people about this size to look into that vortex of what is wanted today and to begin attracting because one is more powerful than millions who aren't to begin attracting what you're wanting so you show yourself your power not with world events but you can sit there and focus only upon what you want and influence an outcome you can you can just don't tell anybody because they'll lock you up but you can you can do that